Nin explains the rules of tech ball. The object of the game is to score more points than your opponent. Tech ball is a relatively new sport that's sometimes used as a training aid for professional soccer players and has become a professional sport in its own right. The game is played on a curved table similar to that of a table tennis table and measures 3 meters long and 1.7 meters wide. There is a net made of perspex that is 14 centimeters high and the service lines are 2 meters away from the ends of the table. The ball is a standard size 5 soccer ball. To serve the ball, you must be behind the 2 meter service line and within the edges of the table. To put the ball in play, you can use any part of your body except your arms and hands. And you must strike the ball above the playing surface. Hitting the nets during a serve is not allowed. The idea is to hit the ball onto your opponent's side of the table and your opponent must play the ball back to your side of the table within one bounce of the ball. Failure to do this results in a point being awarded to your opponent. Just like in volleyball, you are allowed a maximum of three touches to play the ball back to your opponent. You don't have to use all three touches, but if you touch the ball more than three times, your opponent is awarded a point. This results in players trying to make the ball difficult to return so that their opponent cannot play it back successfully. This is known as a rally. So it's basically a combination of volleyball, table tennis and soccer then. Basically, yeah. But here's where it gets difficult. You are not allowed to use the same body part to touch the ball twice in a row. And you cannot return the ball to your opponent using the same body part twice in a row either. Doing this results in your opponents being awarded a point. Therefore, players have to be equally skilled with all of their limbs. Once a point is won, the process repeats itself and the service alternates between the players or teams after every four points. Once you reach 20 points, you win a set. And tech ball is played to the best of three sets. The player or team that wins two sets the fastest wins. If the game is played to a third and final set, the winner has to win by at least 20 and two clear points to win the game. That's basically tech ball in a nutshell but there's a few other things that you'll need to know before playing or watching a game. For example, other ways to lose a point. You cannot touch the table or your opponent. You cannot cross the halfway line of the table when the ball is played. You cannot jump to play any ball. At least one foot must be on the ground. You cannot serve the ball outside the parallel of the table. You cannot hit the ball and for it to land on your side of the table, and the ball must go over the imaginary line of the net. Committing any of these infractions will result in a point being awarded to your opponent. Fault and double fault. You are allowed two chances to serve the ball legally on any given point. Failure to serve the ball legally results in a fault. If you do this twice in a row, this is known as a double fault and your opponent is awarded a point. Edge ball. If the ball hits the edge of the table and it changes direction drastically, this is known as an edge ball. If the edge ball hits the ground, the point is replayed again. However, if the opponent chooses to play the edge ball, the game carries on as normal. Side ball. If the ball hits the side of the table, this is known as a side ball. You cannot hit the side of the table, so hitting a side ball results in a point being awarded to your opponent. Net. If you hit the net during open play and it bounces back without touching the table, you can play the ball so long as you are within your maximum three touches. But if you hit the net and it bounces three times, this is known as a let and the point is replayed again. Doubles. There are some unique rules for doubles that don't apply in singles. In doubles, each player must touch the ball at least once prior to returning it. You can cross the halfway line when passing the ball to your teammate, but at least one foot must be on your half of the court. Whilst you can't touch the ball with the same body part twice in a row, players can do this when passing to each other. And finally, players are allowed to switch positions during a game. If you found this video at all helpful, please be sure to like, share and subscribe. 
It takes me ages to make one of these things and good karma is very much appreciated. If you want to find out more about TechBall, check out their website and YouTube channel. But in the meantime, enjoy TechBall.